Thoughts on Ron DeSantis's book bans? Yeah. Book bans. Okay, so we have an article associated with this as well. These are most likely. I didn't I didn't uh, read through this just yet. Uh, I figured we could, you know, look at it here live, but I've I've been following a lot of these book bans and my state of Tennessee has also um, done similar things, so I'm imagining they're very similar. I just want to remind everybody what I have always been reminding you of mm -hmm. on, on Atheist Republic is that cancel culture mostly belongs to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. This whole panic that people have over like cancel culture, cancel culture, the left has gone woke, the left has gone insane, mm -hmm. they're not tolerant of our views, mm -hmm. they keep like censoring us. Well, where does the left do that? They do that in media. They do that in maybe universities. Hmm. They stop inviting you to their events. Hmm. Yeah. Where does the right do that? The right does that in the government. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. which one do you think you need to be more concerned about? Do you need to be concerned about leftists? not inviting you to an event you should be it's it's yeah. important their parties are you fun should, yeah do, right. do you do you, should you be in, in, worried about their influence maybe the wokeism being some over influence on social media community standards yeah, yeah maybe a little yeah. bit like you know yeah. we give you examples of so how chat gbt is not letting me ask questions right. that m they might be considered problematic if they are problematic we could be worried about but if you're worried about that and not worried about actual laws. Uh, mm. Laws mm. that is limiting your free speech. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Not in in mm -hmm. schools, in universities, and on on TV. Like so when, when leftists decide not to air something, it's because a private company decided that this is not the speech that we don't want that we would like to air on air. Okay, uh, it was maybe we don't like it, but it was their right. When right leaning people limit free speech, it was forced on companies mm -hmm. from high up against their will. We have we have schools right now running around and removing every single book because they don't even know which laws this is going to which 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 one of these is going to this law is going to be targeting, right? So they, it's just safe for them to remove all of them. Guys, they're removing books. This is this is actual cancel culture. Mm -hmm. And this is not just cancel culture. This is a violation of speech, mm -hmm. of expression. Mm -hmm. Because cancel culture from the left, because it's not done by the government, it's not mm -hmm. actually violating your rights. It's, it's annoying, but your rights are not being violated. This is, this is, this is, a, this is an attack on your rights. I would also so argue the, it's yeah. indoctrination because it is specifically exactly. focused at children to pass a specific uh, political agenda and or religious agenda. So, yep, all of that. Exactly, yeah. And by the way, you have to see what these the people define as work, okay? Um, you know, they, they anything they don't like is now work mm -hmm. or CRT. Mm -hmm. The biography the of the first little black girl to ever be allowed to enter a white school in the south that book is just too much apparently for our children to read about it yeah. is too much it used to it used to be when we said woke before it used to be like if you're white you're racist mm. and if you don't know it you're extra racist mm. that used to be what passed as woke now woke means like hey you, did you know that there was this thing in the united states called slavery that we did we did slavery that's now woke yep. the, the information that slavery yep. was a thing yep. apparently mm -hmm. that is now defined as woke yeah yeah or CRT. not allowed to not allowed to talk about the fact that there was a period of time in history where all of these interestingly enough private christian schools seem to pop up out of nowhere all across uh, the South and the nation. It just so happened that it coincided with the specific government policy of desegregation. Now, correlation doesn't cause, you know, correlation, causation, different things. Hey, I I'm okay with that. But one could make the argument that a bunch of rich racist Christians 
took their kids out of schools and funded the private schools that still exist today. So one could make that argument, but not anymore in schools because they're taking out the books that have any reference to that history. So, yeah. So look, they want to protect the children from woke indo indoctrination. And that's, it's that's amazing. That's it's literally amazing what it's called. Yeah. It's amazing how they're doing indoctrination in, in an attempt to fight indoctrination. They're trying to fight cancel culture by doing cancel culture from the government. Yeah. By the way, they were always like this. This is not new. Okay. Yeah. So be yeah. before we had like, oh my God, wokeism, cancel culture, which is again, a, a serious issue. But it was these people, it was Republicans who were being Puritans, who were banning LGBT on media, who were putting restrictions on the language that you could use like you they have a huge history in the united states of the certain things that was illegal to say that was considered degenerate and any reference to lgbt for example if but if republicans go unchallenged if there was no challenge to republicans they would completely ban make it illegal any any reference to lgbt would be completely banned yeah right now Right now, they're doing yeah. that right now yeah. in That's school. Amazing. If you right. teach children about LGBT, right. they consider that grooming. They right. want to ban that. Just mentioning LGBT. To the, the, the laws are so vague that if you, it, it, based on the current laws that they're, that they're introducing, mm -hmm. if you find out that your teacher is gay, mm -hmm. that would be considered grooming. And again, this isn't hyperbole. Like it sounds like it is. It sounds like it's. It sounds like it's the uh, like. This is this is what the left does, you know, to spur everybody to get everybody riled up and stuff, right? Uh, but in reality, no. Again, seriously, you can just go look at the bills from Florida that have been put, uh, not only signed but also just put. Uh, through the committees and stuff. You can go look in Texas. You can go look in Tennessee. You can go look in Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Oklahoma. You can just go look at the bills and just literally see how these these elected officials are outright trying to put people in jail, put people in jail for things. And again, the left is the one that that really it has the cancel culture problem, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's not, a, it's not an exaggeration. Introduction yeah. to any LGBT stuff is considered grooming now okay, yes. by these people, and, yes. and and should be bad. The, yes. But the same is the same type of relationship. Is if it, if you talk, so the things that children are supposed to be extremely confused about, okay, mm -hmm. if you tell them that, and this could be considered grooming and destructive. If you say the same thing to them about heterosexual people oh, or totally cis fine. people yeah completely fine yeah no worries so, no worries no worries so no worries. be like oh my god boy yeah, kissing yeah. boy these people these kids are confused they will right. be like they will you're ruining them you're destroying their minds but if the same story was about a boy kissing a girl like so it's not about how sexual it is mm -mm. it's about the fact that it's a boy and a boy because yep. the same level of sexuality yep. in in children's story if it was between a boy and a girl like oh prince prince like falls in love with girl mm -hmm. like princess completely fine boy falls in love with boy oh my god hypersexual children close you know save the kids yep. like wait a minute it, it was the same amount of sexuality why was one of them problematic and the other one wasn't it's and they're about yeah there have already been again they're just not hyperbole just all serious stuff you can just go google it at any time y'all but there have already been uh, a, a fallout from these things oh hang on we'll pause for that <laughs> yeah. that's no, always no, worth a pause no, 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 well, mention, mention it, there there have no, been no, there have been teachers who have had you know a picture of of their partner on their desk right and they have gotten fired and a teacher has you know obviously had similar things just just you know a heterosexual couple um yeah. so yeah i mean there there has already been fallout from this again this is not hyperbole this is not us just trying to ring the alarm bells this is serious mm -hmm. this currently there is a group of people in the united states that actively are trying to legislate against people yeah. and yeah this is it yeah if you are a male teacher and you have a picture of your wife on your desk completely okay but if you are a female teacher and you have a picture of your female lover on your desk you're grooming children you're grooming children that is actually the law it's crazy um yeah 
Lily Pad just gave us a fifty dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Lily Pad. Yeah. We are you are literally what's holding Atheist Republic <laughs> financially viable. So thank you so much for that. Um, Amazing. Uh, Lily Pad is saying if being woke is bad, are they saying being asleep is better? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's when woke was you actually bad. This used to be this kind of comment. It used to be. Cringe, but now it actually is. It's, true. it's, I know. Now it's, that, that's now how, it makes sense. Now that's, that's how things have turned. That's how everything that's how has just turned. turned. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's so. just this topsy turvy, upside down, freaking weirdo world that we live in where some, somebody is standing up at a podium and saying, they're trying to indoctrinate your children. They're trying to put you in jail for just being who you are. By the way, uh, uh, all, uh, LGBT, no more. Mm -mm, done with that uh black history uh uh done with that uh but yeah them people over it's ridiculous it's it's a, it's truly just a bizarro world man if if you notice we don't call because how right leaning people refer to you have used the word woke so much and they refer to everything that is basically brings you attention about lgbt or racism as woke now um we don't use the word woke anymore like a lot of other people like me have uh because we used to see a lot of crazy takes from some extreme leftists and we used to refer to them as woke but because now woke means anything that right leaning people don't like we are we are not referring to them as that like we don't we I, i've noticed it's not just me i noticed a lot of other leftists who called out wokeism are now referring to it as something else they call like I don't know, extremist leftists or like mm -hmm. fringe leftist groups. I don't know what they call. It. What do you call I, them now? Well, no, I, I feel like that's that's a pretty good, a pretty good because I, I feel like in the past, like you and Susanna have have done a good job of differentiating, you know, but between, you know, the, the, the various levels of, of extreme on the left. And I think that's important that the people that just again, like you said, hey, if you're if, if you're white at all, you're you're just clearly racist and you're profiting from all the horrible you know things that white people have done it's like well okay maybe that's not it maybe i you know maybe i may participate in a system we could have a more nuanced conversation but like in general when i first heard the term woke i often heard it referred to things of just people being like hey black people shouldn't be beaten up in the streets and i was like yeah i think that's a really reasonable stance am i brave for saying that and there's like this dude's woke you know so like it's it's changed yeah, so much over the years that yeah now it's like it was good then it became uh -huh, cringe and uh -huh. now it's back to yeah and so now it's yeah. just like if you're woke at the end of the day it's because basically you're just not one of the people that seems to be arguing for like fascism which is like it's yeah. like yeah that's just normal to me that just seems right i'm sorry i guess like is that is that by the way in, in iran we're going through our own um woke phase that the part that is not the word, the part that it was good the part that it was like we just recently had a singer say being requested a kurdish singer to be requested to sing in a, in an in a gathering to be sing the song battle by Sherwin, the one the song that is famous as represents the revolution, the current revolution mm. in Iran. And the guy said, like, I'm not going to sing that song because first of all, there's a part of the song that says for for man, uh, nation and prosperity, and just saying for man that makes it uh, patriarchal and we don't celebrate men here. <laughs> so, and, <laughs> so, so, and he also said that it does, it's, it, it, it represents, um, it's also um, kind of focuses on cent centralism, like not, does, it doesn't celebrate um, different ethnicities. So it's, okay. you know, I mean, in okay. a way, yeah. because it has nation in it apparently, and it's okay. also, uh, yeah, I don't know. So it was, it, like we have such, uh, right when I go to um, Iranian cl uh, rooms on Clubhouse, which is a social media platform, right? You see the uh, many times when a woman come up, and uh, like she 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 looks around and she says that I see that there's not that it's mostly men talking. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys not consider a woman to be worthy of having mm -hmm. an opinion here? So you see like and everybody's quiet and it's just waiting. Mm -hmm. like, okay, mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I mean, every time there's a woman that is noteworthy, they bring them up, but 
there's less women active on that social media, but you see you get a you get talked down to for not having for not actively going yeah. and finding women to re- to come and speak. So we're going through that phase right now on Iranian social media. I mean, so. it makes sense. It makes sense that that happens. But I think that's again, that's that's where it's the right thing to do is to call out where it goes too far. Like, is there yeah. lots of racism and sexism in the world? Like, yeah, freaking everywhere. Yes. Every single time, like every time. No. Probably not, right? That seems that seems yeah. like an, a broad generalization. But yeah, nothing wrong with saying like, "Hey, I think it would be great if if we could get more female voices in this space." But like, just hopping on and just being like, "Oh, so you don't like women talk? So you don't let women talk here? Oh, so you uh, you just yeah. want to dominate as a male and explain everything?" Well, okay, maybe hang on a second. Like, give us a minute. You're the first woman that's shown up. We've sent out the thing a, a bunch. Nobody shows up. It's like these five people. Like we're gonna let them talk. But. It seems like it's an easy thing to distinguish, like to know what's the what the right position is. Like if if somebody is denying racism or homophobia and transphobia, that's too far on one side. See, right? And if somebody is seeing it everywhere, that's also too far on the other side. Like that's just it. It's, it's easy, I don't know, guys. Armin, not, I'm yeah. I I think. I think that makes a lot of sense. You think that makes a lot of sense. A lot of people out there may think that makes sense. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what to yeah. tell you. I mean, yeah. So, yeah. guys, if you don't deny that it exists mm-hmm. and try to bring attention to the p- places where it exists, okay, and also not seeing it everywhere, like racism or transphobia or misogyny just oozing out of every brick and every coming from the sky and every there, right? Yeah. Like we're suffocating in the middle of like all of it around it like we're just breathing in racism everywhere we go <laughs> if you don't think that then we're then you're good you're in the right. good there's probably yeah yeah you're you should be yeah safe. yeah probably yeah. okay <laughs> yeah again i don't know i guess again for some maybe that's a that's a hard stance but yeah <laughs> i don't know you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.